y'all. I am just in the pickup line at school. I'm about to bring you a new grocery haul and shop with me. We're gonna go in a couple stores and look for all of the new things for the first time in 2021. I'm so excited. This is gonna be my normal Walmart grocery haul like I do every week, except for it's on a different day. Normally I upload on Sunday or Monday. The winner to the last grocery total will be down in the description below. If you are new here, we guess the grocery total of my groceries at the end of every video. And whoever gets closest first actually gets coffee on me the following week. So make sure at the end of this video, you guess how much you think my grocery total was this week. And with that being said, let's get started with this video. So we are like in a different city and we came to Food Line and I've never seen Diet Pepsi in the Wild Cherry. Let me know if y'all have. I haven't seen caffeine free in a long time either or Diet Pepsi caffeine free so crazy i don't even know that i've seen this yet i knew it existed but i've only seen the mountain dew also apparently these veggie mash potatoes and then the cauliflower and ranch ones are new as well and then we have the new wisconsin cheddar that's really cool and it also says that the vermont white cheddar is new we've got monterey pepper jack have any of you guys seen these strawberry and vanilla flavored marshmallows i don't think they're new or anything but i've never seen them before also look what else i found new white chocolate hot chocolate okay i think i've got to get this i for sure got to get this and look at these. I've never seen these before either, but this is definitely coming home with me. I've also tried the Lucky Charms one, but it doesn't taste much different than the regular hot chocolate. Lucky Charms marshmallows. Funfetti vanilla cake chips. Those look delicious. I don't know if this is new. It's probably not. It doesn't say new on it, but I've never seen this Betty Crocker brittle mix, but it does say these are new. I don't know what the difference is in these. I don't know. I've made these before. They're not very new, but they are kind of new. I think I've showed all of these before, but just in case, they have buffalo ranch, chili lime, and fiery hot corn nuts. Okay, we have some Taco Bell new finds. I'm not sure if these are the same ones that I saw at Sam's Club or not, but I know Sam's Club only had one flavor, and I don't even know if it's the same one, but they've got the fire sauce, the mild, and they also have the regular nacho flavor. Looks kind of good. Okay, I've never seen the cherry limeade flavor in the frosty drink, so that's cool. Always love these nostalgic drinks. They also have the strawberry lemonade sunkissed. They have the sunkissed zero sugar here. This is like the best food line ever. They even have the bottles. They have Dr. Pepper cream soda, three for 11. I've actually never seen a two liter cream soda, Dr. Pepper and cream soda, so that's crazy. We also have cherry Dr. Pepper, which has been on a shortage forever. Oh, I haven't seen these. I don't know if they're new or not, but sour fruit roll-ups, yum. Look what I found. I think this is new. I'm pretty sure these new Cinnamon Toast Crunch Chocolate Churros are new. So I'm definitely gonna grab these while I'm in here because my Walmart has not had them. But also these PB&J Puffs, how much are they, $2.49? This is actually a new item. Dunkaroos cereal. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? I can't deal. I'm so excited. Okay, I don't know if these are like new or what, but they have all these different kind of chicken tenders and all that good stuff. So I wanted to show you these. I haven't tried them, so if you have, let me know. We already have out the Valentine's Day brownies and the Nutty Buddies. And they also have the little chocolate cakes as well. Look what I found. I finally found the Cinnamon Toast Crunch toaster strudels. I don't know if I should get them or not. I'm not a huge fan of toaster strudels anyway. They also have Golden Grahams. Okay, so my Walmart does not carry the Apple Cinnamon Eggos, so I haven't seen those. They're probably not new, but they're new to me. Got some thick and fluffy waffles over here. Cinnamon brown sugar. 
look at Friendlies. They're already ready for summer. I wish I could find the, I think it was the Friendlies brand. They made a pecan pie ice cream. It was so good. All right, so I found the cocoa marshmallows filled with pink peppermint. I haven't seen these yet. So that's pretty neat. These were probably like a seasonal item for Christmas. Okay, so this is my little small food lion haul. I wanted to stop there on our way back from our little mini day date. We grabbed some vanilla ice cream because we were out and we have a ton of pecan cobbler left over from Christmas. So we got some of that. So good with the pecan cobbler. Raspberry sherbet is my absolute favorite and I can never find it anywhere. So we grabbed this. Also got some squash because we have a recipe we want to use this for. And of course, what I'm most excited about is probably, well, it's all the new cereals, but I'm really excited about the Dunkaroo cereal, y'all. I cannot wait to try this. So excited. And then this is new, supposedly. It doesn't say new on it, but I'm pretty sure it's new. It's the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Chocolate Churros. Y'all can correct me if I'm wrong, but I saw it on the website as new. But when things don't say new on them anymore, I'm kind of questioning myself. So I'm excited about trying those. And then Food Line actually had this on their shelf and it said it was a new item. I don't know if that's true. Maybe it was in the wrong spot. I question myself sometimes, y'all see? PB and J buffs, I could not leave them behind. So I got three new delicious looking cereals. I also picked up this Oreo cookies and cream pudding. I have a pie. I have a pie crust and I wanted to make an Oreo pie and I haven't been able to find this pudding mix. And honestly, this is the hardest pudding mix to find anywhere. I can't find it. And they only had one left at Food Line, so I grabbed the last one. Y'all hear Popper? She's crying because her daddy went back outside. Okay, so I also got this new hot chocolate by Swiss Mix. It's a white chocolate. I'm so excited. I'm probably about to try this in a minute because Hello. And then Alex wanted to get this spicy sausage calzone. I knew he was gonna pick this one. There was a bunch of different ones and I always like to guess and he went with the spicy sausage. So if y'all have ever tried the calzones from Food Line, let me know. I didn't get one, Alex got one. And yeah, that's my little mini haul from Food Line. So you'll see my Walmart haul next. Okay, so I stopped by Ingles because they did not have my drinks at Walmart and they didn't have Ansley's chocolate syrup that she likes with her milk. And oh my goodness, this is new. I've not even heard of this yet. This is sweet vanilla. Look what I just found at Ingles. I can't handle it. Well, guess what? I already ordered it from Walmart, so it better not be substituted or out. I'm gonna leave this right here. Yes. In the Valentine's Day section, they also have rainbow sherbet cotton candy. I think I'm gonna grab one of those. And I was hoping they had some other kinds of Valentine's Day candy. They have these, which are so good. These, Snickers hearts. That's crazy. A huge chocolate shark and they've got the trucks. So neat. Oh, what are these? Gummy Conversation Hearts. What? Did they have these last year? They also have all of these new, like, Hot Pockets. I guess they are just veggie style, but that is awesome. More new stuff. Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Boneless Chicken Bites. We've got the original Boneless Chicken Bites, and we also have some Buffalo Chicken Dip. Okay, January is coming in hot. We've got chicken pot pie bites, we've got mac and cheese bites, we've got lasagna bites, and then check this out. Cauliflower wings. We also have broccoli bites, and then we also have teriyaki broccoli bites. So awesome, these are garlic parmesan. So, I actually love that idea. And I found more down here. They also have barbecue and buffalo style. Okay, I just found these fudge brownies. It looks like they changed their packaging. Ooh. Also, look what I found at Walmart. I have this new Mountain Dew Major Melon flavor to show you. It's watermelon flavored Mountain Dew. Supposedly, this is going to be a permanent flavor and they also are gonna have it in the zero sugar, as you can see. So, 
pretty cool. They also have the watermelon Mountain Dew in the six pack bottles as well. All right, so I have my Walmart grocery haul now for you guys to see. Honestly, we have a lot of frozen meats and stuff like that in our deep freezer, so I really didn't buy much meat besides the smoked sausage and Canadian bacon this week. Mostly, I got snacks and stuff like that. The girls are going back to school next week. Alex is going back to work next week, so they need stuff for their lunches. And I also needed just some side things to cook with, so I got a gallon of milk. We got some jalapeno cheddar dip. This is Alex's favorite and I love it too. I've loved it since high school. Dr. Pepper cream soda. I actually got this in Ingles because Walmart did not have any Dr. Pepper cream soda. So I went to Ingles just to get drinks because they didn't even substitute it for regular Dr. Pepper. So here we are. Also, I got these bagels. These were also a substitute. I actually ordered the Walmart brand and they gave me the Thomas brand, which is perfectly fine. Also, am out of Hershey's syrup and the strawberry. I like strawberry milk so much. So I grabbed that. I got a bigger thing of orange juice this time because the last time I got orange juice, Alex and me went through it so fast. Actually, Alex went through it so fast. I forgot about it. And then I started drinking it whenever, you know, I actually found out that we had it. And then I got two of these cotton candy flavored grape juices. They've been out of that for a while, so I was glad that Walmart had that. And then, oh my gosh, y'all, you know I've been waiting and waiting for this to come out. I saw it in Ingles, and I was like, Walmart better not substitute it. Walmart better not leave it out. And they didn't, so I did get it. So I'm really excited to try that. Also, we grabbed a loaf of bread. This was also a substitution. We usually get the small half loaf but they were out so they gave me the classic white which is fine and then we got the six pack of brioche buns alex really likes his sandwiches on that burgers whatever and i do too it's so much better and here are some cinnamon muffins cinnamon raisin muffins alex wants me to make sandwiches like his mom which is hard you know nobody can cook like your mama so we're gonna see if it turns out good he does like stuff that i cook so I got this Canadian bacon to go with it, and if it turns out good and it's something I like, I'll share it with you guys on my channel. And then I got some smoked sausage to go with the hash browns with peppers and onions. That's my favorite way to make it. We were also completely out of American cheese. Grab that. Also grab some raspberries at Ansley's request. I always get these girls the sliced apples just for like a snack during the day. Got some sharp cheddar cheese. Y'all know I like to have that around the house, but I promise I didn't get any brown gravy this week. I haven't used brown gravy in like forever, so I think we still have some. I'll check. And then, I hope. Oh, gosh. Anyways, we needed more black pepper. Haven't probably bought black pepper in five years. Y'all know it, <laughs> it lasts forever. They finally had banana cream jello pudding. They haven't had it like, I don't know, for the last... I don't know. They haven't had it since Thanksgiving. So that tells you anything. And I finally got some. I still haven't tried that Walmart brand from my last haul. So we'll see. Also grab some more eggs. Grab some Oreos just for the kids to eat and stuff like that. Mainly I wanted these Oreos to go in my Oreo pie I have to make. Well, I don't have to make it. I just want to make it. And Aubrey requested cookies and cream pop tarts. So I got her those. And then I got some more popcorn because we were out. And then this ranch seasoning is Ansley's favorite, and we had just like a little mini bottle, so I got her a bigger one. And then I got this as a lunchbox item to go back into the lunches whenever school starts back. Also grab some sparkling ice. Y'all know every week I grab the random sparkling ice drinks. Also got Alex another bottle of hot sauce. We got a bigger one this time, and then we were out of mustard, so I grabbed some mustard. I actually wanted to add these to my Walmart order, but they were completely out of them, and I grabbed these in Ingles today. Also, do you like my ring my mom got me? I don't know where she got it. I'll have to ask her, but it says I am enough, and I love it so much. It pairs perfectly with my engagement ring that Alex gave me that I also love. And then I also got some Uncrustables because school's starting back, and Ansley just likes to have that as a snack. This is another little snack lunch idea that Aubrey likes to have and Aubrey can make these herself. 
I know I showed these in Ingles, and I don't know if these are new from last year, but in case they weren't new, I went ahead and got them because if they're new this year, you know I have to try them. This says it is new, Rainbow Sherbert Cotton Candy, and it was only a dollar, so I was like, what the heck, let's give it a try. And then I grabbed some salt and vinegar chips for the kids to eat, and then Alex likes these original, like, ruffled chips, and I actually ordered a one party size bag, but they were out, so they gave me just two regular, which is fine. And then also I got this, which this was a last minute thing. I had to run into Walmart and get a prescription. So mm, I had to get it in this bag and I don't care. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to everybody. I'm destroying people's diets every day I walk. But anyways, here we go. Let's see. We've got some more combos for lunches this week. We were almost completely out of detergent. I was like, what is this? What is this? I almost forgot for a second. And then I got some more Epsom salt. I swear I had some. I feel like people are using it when I'm not around, but I probably am losing my mind because that happens a lot. So I grab more of that. This was a substitution for Ansley's shampoo. So it is what it is. Got these two little sponges, shower loofahs. Y'all know I hate the word loofah. For Alex's shower. Here are my Vapo inhalers, y'all know I love these. If you never try them, especially this time of year, get these. I like to keep one in my purse and one in my nightstand. Also grabbed Aubrey some more deodorant because she said she's tired of having the deodorant that smells like powder. So I got her a, I guess, better smelling one. I don't know if it is or not. I've never had this, but this is also a substitution. But I'm glad it's still a good scent. So that's good because what if they would have substituted it for the powder one, y'all? Story of my life, that would really happen. Okay, and then I got this Sunny D for the kids. And then also, oh, I just showed you that. Also got some more a Listerine. This is the kind Alex likes. I've been using this new one that I showed y'all from Target for a while. But anyways, this is our grocery haul this week. So you are welcome to guess what my grocery total is. Whoever guesses closest first will win coffee on me next week. So yeah, just guess how much you think I spent at Walmart and Ingles this week.